Hello and welcome back to And That's a Fact, the channel where we take our subjective opinions and turn them into definitive, objective fact. I'm Neil Adamson. And I'm Rick Papandrea. And today we are super excited because we are wrapping up our Disney bracket, our ultimate Disney bracket that we started like a month ago. Almost this is two been, months ago. Yeah, almost. this has been a long time coming. And we are, I am really excited. We're really, we are just saying yeah. this is a, a big thing. Yeah, we started with 64 movies. We actually started with more than that. Uh, yep. we, and we had our four different sub-brackets that we uh, whittled down to 16 in each based on Rotten Tomatoes critic scores. Right, and um, if you don't remember, those four brackets were Pixar movies. The uh, original Disney movies, 1937 to 1977. Then the contemporary movies, 77 to 2000. And then the modern Disney movies, 2000 to present day. Uh, yep. and left us with... Four main, uh, four main categories, and the final four were, uh, remind me. We had Moana for uh, Contemporary. We had uh, Lion King for, or sorry, Moana for Post Millennial. Right. Uh, uh, Lion, Lion King, King for, contemporary. for Contemporary. Peter Toy Pan. Story. Toy and Story Peter for Pan. Pixar. And, and Peter Pan for the, the classic, which was... The crazy one. That was, was the a big upset. Seed. Yeah. And all these other ones that made it into the final four kind of made sense, but that yeah. one was like, Peter Pan was the big upset, which means uh, last time we were here, we found out that Lion King beat Peter Pan and Toy Story beat Moana to go yep. into the final ultimate championship, championship round of yep. this bracket. So today, basically, in our, you know, we had a, um, we had a, Pixar movie and a contemporary movie going into this championship and the thing we pointed out last uh, week that was really crazy about this is that these films were released within a year of one another and we've covered all of this this whole like bracket 80 in, 90 yeah, years 80 or 90 years of Disney movies and it comes down to the two films that were released in 94 and 95. Yeah. So it's absolutely amazing it's that nuts. we got to we, that, but it really maybe shows you we this should was point the out best. That maybe part of it is that because those are the movies that came out like when we were that age, and presumably the people watching this are, for the yes. most part, our peers, so that makes sense. I but also want to say... You can't discount the fact that these arguably are the two best Disney films And, and I ever. completely agree. Well, we're all about turning our subjective opinions into facts. <laughs> so it doesn't matter if we were born then. Those are the it's best facts. ones. Uh, I do want to say that, so we may be wearing these shirts right now that does not necessarily reflect which one that we think should win. Yes. Uh, I don't have a Lion King shirt and I don't have the spare money to buy one. I do have two Pizza Planet shirts, but that's just how the dice roll. Uh, he worked at Pizza Planet when he was yeah. a cartoon. <laughs> yeah, it was a college exchange program. <laughs> With Andy? Yeah, exactly. So we thought, okay, well, one of us will wear Lion King, one of us will wear Pizza Planet. It'll be great. Yeah. Uh, so, so, if you have not uh, watched the other ones, if you want to see how we got here, go back on our channel. We have a... Um, like a playlist of all of the other videos in this bracket. I was going to say yep. if you don't want it spoiled, but you already know that these are the last two. Yeah. So if you want to watch how we got here and haven't seen those, go back and watch those videos. They're super fun. I mean, we had fun making them. Hopefully you'll have fun watching them. Uh, and then come back to see who the ultimate championship of all of Disneydom is. Yes, and keep in mind that we got here not based on our opinions. Right. We, we talked through a lot of the results and why we think certain things went the way they did but we got here based on your votes these are right. all voted on by you guys uh in our in our uh polls that we were posting for this bracket we were posting them on facebook right and uh in subsequent brackets right now we're doing a comic book movie bracket and that Which one you can also find on our channel yes that one has links so make sure you're looking out for those videos right. if you want to vote on there because uh, that's how we our... could be surprised by peter pan because we weren't yes. choosing you guys were choosing yeah uh and because Neil and I are fans of democracy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no matter how skewed it may or may not be. Right. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, definitely check out our Twitter, our Instagram, our Facebook page for all of the updates on all of these brackets, all of these Absolutely. matches. And stay tuned to our YouTube channel to watch us as we uh, continue to dive into more and more movies and film analysis. Yeah. And just have lots of fun with this because we love talking about this stuff. Yeah. We love engaging with you guys and, and hearing what your guys' opinions are. So make sure you're commenting and yeah. letting us know. 
Absolutely. So without that being ado, said, and with no more further ado, yeah, let's dive into this match. So we got so, Toy Story and versus Lion King. the Lion King. Rick, what do you think? Who right, do you so, think comes out on top? To reiterate, Neil knows who won. Neil knows who you voted for, and I do not. So what do I think? Oh, I think that these are the two perfect movies in the championship. Like, you know, we've we've got we've said a lot of different things, and uh, you know. I've had a lot of opinions along the way, but I think if there are two movies that really deserve to be in the Disney Championship, these two definitely deserve to be in the Disney Championship. If I have to choose one, and it's hard for me to choose one, but if I have to choose one, I think it's Lion King. Everything that we've said about Toy Story being groundbreaking and important remains true. Um, But I still think that (laughs) at this stage, you know, we can't just we can't just talk about you know how important a movie is, but we also need to really consider how good it is. And I think in a lot of ways, Lion King is stronger than Toy Story, uh, if only by a little bit. But um, I think that it is. I think they're both storytelling is solid. I think that the characterization is solid. I think it's all really good. One of the things that gives Toy Story not Toy Story Lion King a bump for me is that uh, it's a musical, and I love musicals. And this is music that was really important to me as to my childhood and growing up and that was very strong we should point out i guess that the lion king music even shows up in toy story uh so even uh-huh. andy is a fan of toy story or uh, <laughs> of of lion king uh, it's so, right yeah when they're in the uh, car yeah they're, when they're in the car and they're moving they're, and buzz and woody yeah. are on the, are on <laughs> slinky and, and <laughs> <laughs> such a good moment. I, it's like it's such every, a good, all this madness is going on outside. It's such good filmmaking in that scene. Like, yes, this, you know, you're talking about why Lion King's so great, but like, this is one example of why Toy Story was they're, so amazing. They're both great. We're talking about two A plus movies, and we have to decide which yeah. one is a plus year. Like, yeah, I love that scene where all the madness is going on outside, and then they yes. cut to the inside of the car, and you see Andy's little sister. I forget what her name is. Uh, and she's yeah, just, like in the in the she, rearview mirror, yeah, sees. She's just like giggling and laughing to Akuna Matata playing slow, playing softly on the radio. Right. And, oh, so good. They're, they're both great movies. But if I have to choose one, I think I choose Lion King. If I'm being honest, Neil, I know you know the answer. So without saying the answer, which one did you vote for and why? Okay, so this was really tough for me. I talked about in in past videos that Lion King was the first film that, as a kid, the first film ever that I think I actually cried during, and my parents were like, oh my gosh, this is a powerful movie because he's crying during this movie. Yeah, just long live the king. Well, it was during that moment. It was yeah. it was more when he's like, Dad, wake up. Yeah. Wake oh up, Oh my Dad. gosh. That moment, if that <sighs> moment doesn't make you tear up a little right bit, yeah. you're a robot. Like, yeah. that moment is what's going to help us determine who the Terminators are. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this, this movie was Shakespeare. Everyone always talks about Lion King is Shakespeare, right? It, yeah. But it, this was accessible Shakespeare. This was Shakespeare yes. package for a kid and not dumbed down at all yes like, it was so yes. well done so well packaged so well delivered to us in in such a wonderful way that was exciting that was fun you had these musical numbers that were you know so and fun to sing along to yeah. you had characters that were really exciting and also were uh cast wonderfully oh my and, gosh yeah and this we talked about before you know there are a bunch of different parts of like what makes something a Disney movie and some of these movies do some of those things, but not all of those. Like obviously Toy Story is not a musical, right? Right. But we also talked about how there are certain Disney movies that are musicals. And then there's others that are kind of musicals, but there's no, they're not really musicals because the characters don't sing, but right. their soundtrack plays a huge role. And right. Target Lion is King, an example. Lion King is both. Lion King is both. We talked about Lion- this is the movie that did everything that Disney does well and and did it, they did it better perfectly. than anything else. Like, yeah. I mean, so, talk about movies that are musicals and not musicals. Look at a song like Can You Feel the Love Tonight. That starts with the, the two clown characters, basically, Timon and Pumbaa, yeah. singing to each other about how they're losing their buddy. I can see buddy, what's happening. And they don't have a clue. <laughs> <We're>, that's us <laughs> but and then it turns into um is it uh to to, to uh, elton john singing yep. 
a, a non-diegetic song over all of it. And it's just, yeah. it's so good. It all works together so well. And it's like It really that, is like perfect filmmaking. And it's, that moment. It's animation in its finest. Yeah. That moment that you talked about, too, where, where you know, Mufasa has died and Simba's like, Dad, you gotta, you gotta wake up. It's still such an important part of our part of like our culture that when Civil War came out and we were just doing our talking about Civil War in our other bracket, that moment where uh, T'Challa's father T'Chaka dies and there's a shot of him like of T'Challa reacting instead of crying over his father's body. I I know I saw like memes of of that shot and it says, Dad, you gotta wake up. And it's yeah. just perfect because it's an African king seeing his dad die in front of him, and it, well, uh, like, <laughs> and a predatory cat too. Right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, but yeah, just, I mean, so saying that, saying all of that about Lion King, I mean, it really, I was surprised that Lion King actually. I well, I wasn't surprised, but I figured that something like Beauty and the Beast, which was a two seed, or yeah. Aladdin, which was a three seed, would make it into this into this. Me too. Final I match. thought that, that we we talked about the princess bump a lot, and yeah. neither but of these movies we are get princess this four movies. seed. Instead, yeah. we get this four seed, which, when we sit down and think about it, makes complete sense as to yeah. why it's here. And I mm-hmm. totally get, like, I it it could be the king. Like it it could it, be the king. It, you know, it, in my opinion, it should be. Well, it, is I, the king of the ju- it's the king of the jungle? Is it the king of this bracket? That's right, the big that's, question that we have that, to answer. Yeah, and, and I was gonna say something, and I totally just forgot what. Oh, so we talked about how Toy Story was groundbreaking in terms of its animation, and that's true. But also, Lion King was groundbreaking because it was the first of these classic Disney movies that was adapted for Broadway, and it became a massive, massive hit on the stage. Yes, which is was, and, a, and not a hit that was just like transferred over from screen right. they to, adapted to stage. It. They adapted it very creatively. Yes. And it proved it wasn't for kids. Like, if, if, it, if it had been on Broadway and only people bringing their kids to it or only people that loved the movie saw it, it would have been fine. It would have done okay. It would have made the money back. But it wouldn't have become this phenomenon that it became. And... You know, and now we've got a live action, live action, I'm going to put that in quotes because it's it's not, <laughs> uh, version of Lion King coming out pretty soon with Donald Glover or Childish Gambino, if is his rapping name, in, in the main role. And, I am, and I'm really looking forward to that. Like, I think it's going to be yeah. great. And um, we've, we've talked about Lion King a lot so far. What do you think the merits are of Toy Story going forward into this match? Well, it's actually interesting because you asked me which one I would vote for. Oh, and yeah, you as, didn't actually answer. Yeah, as much as I love Lion King and all these things that we're talking about, I sat down and I was like, you know, I didn't vote for this until, like, the very end because I was really torn as to who I should vote for. And I'm sitting here, I'm thinking about all of these different things about both of these films, and I think what it came down to for me, because to me, these are, they are neck and neck. Yeah, and what they're both came down plus to for me for sure. is what do I enjoy watching more? What can I put on, on sure. just a, in a random day and just have, whether it's in the background or whether I'm watching attentively, what do I get, have more fun with? And I think Lion King, both of these films have really serious, like, um, heart-wrenching moments and everything, but I think I have more fun with Toy Story. And I think... I think Toy Story is more Toy fun. Story, I think that you're right, yeah. And I think Toy Story speaks to me a little bit more um, in terms... Because you're plastic? Well, in terms of my childhood, like, imagination of my sure. toys. Now... Absolutely. Th- the The story of The Lion King in terms of that moment of Simba losing his father, like... That really speaks to me too because I like I lost I lost my dad at a younger age. He wasn't killed by my uncle by uh, you know my That's uncle named a, Scar. A but, relief, I guess. <laughs> um, but that really does that speaks to me too. And Absolutely. so it's like these are two films that like they really speak to who I am. Um, but when I when it comes down to it, it's like I think I have more fun with Toy Story. And we talked about that scene where where they're on the outside of the moving van. And everything's going right. nuts, and you get Hakuna Matata on the inside of the car. It, yeah, and it's just absolutely... It was just great filmmaking. Yeah, and and it, this I, represented Pixar as like, dude, they are a powerhouse. They right. know how to and, make and movies. They know how funny. to get you. Like, yeah. You're right, it's, it's, and it's, but it's also funny for adults. Like, yes. There's a moment I remember, I remember asking my, one of my parents, 
what it means, and they wouldn't tell me. But um, Mr. Potato Head takes off his lips and kisses his own ass with them. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, that's hilarious. Yeah, and, and, and it's just it's just a small thing. Like when I think when Buzz is talking, right? Yeah, like Buzz is is going on about how he's like so great or whatever, and Potato Head yeah, is just like, is, like he's saying, "Oh, that person's a kiss ass." Like it's just yeah. it's so it's so funny, and it, you know it does it, it deserves to be in this. Yeah. Uh, in this final battle, they both absolutely well, deserve this. And we this spot. and we talked about the cast with the Lion King, but so I think I think when it comes down to cast, a, you voted for Toy Story, and I voted for. We should have traded shirts, but, but yeah, comes. but I'm wearing the Lion King shirt, <laughs> and, wearing, and he's got the Pizza Planet, the Toy Story shirt. So, but uh, there's also you know we talked about the cast of Lion King. I think the cast is one area that Toy Story does beat the Lion King because as great as the Lion King cast is. Tim They're Allen both, and Tom Hanks they, are brilliant in these yeah. roles. They're, like, I mean, yeah. I can't I, like I can't say that they're not. I don't know that they're better. I mean, dude, it's Darth Vader and Jonathan Taylor Thomas. But, but you know what? Here's the difference: is the cast of The Lion King was played by people who honestly you could probably get other people, with the exception of maybe Jim, James Earl Jones. Sure, you could probably get other people to play those roles without losing a lot of the effects Uh, jeremy irons yes but i think you could probably get someone else to play that role like i i know but you're saying 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 is that you don't you don't recognize who they are when they're talking because they're just the character and i think as a result that character could probably be filled in by somebody else with Woody and Buzz. They, you're right. You though. cannot like, get anyone no. else to play those two co- they're, characters. They're they're pitch perfect. They really are. And coming from who we know, Tom, who we knew at the time, like when that movie came out, Tom right. Hanks was as right. a actor, and who we knew Tim Allen was as an actor. You know, yeah. we said these are the two most dad people. Like the <laughs> really most, they, they're the dads of America, and they're playing these two characters that are. A, like and they're the dads of America because the what makes someone a great dad in in that sense of like oh dad jokes and dad right. shoes and all that is is that the that dad role means that you have children but you are a child <laughs> You know what I mean? And <laughs> it's the and, dad who's caught his wife with he, he's got as many <laughs> nerf guns as the kids. Like <laughs> Yes. And that is what these two kids are because Tom Hanks like big, for example. <laughs> right, right. Right. Like Tom Hanks is the dad who's a kid because he's just like so happy and fun and like loose and exciting like that. And Tim Allen is the dad who's a dad but he's a kid because he is so reckless and irresponsible <laughs> and dumb, and, and he and the um, the way that he portrays Buzz, like just with this this straight on, like uh, yes, yes, this is who I am. Yeah. Um, deadpan. Uh, we're reporting you know, the Star Command. Yes, you know, just <laughs> and and seeing someone like Tom Hanks lose control, like it, it's just so so great. <laughs> yeah, wow. you. I mean, you're not wrong. I agree with everything you're saying. I still think Lion King comes out on top. But everything you're saying is absolutely true, and just like the supporting cast of characters in those movies are so, in in Toy Story is so good too. Like Bo Peep, remember I'm just a couple of blocks away. As she walks by literal building blocks, like <laughs> come on, or oh, Slinky Dog, level. or the Army so Men. All of that, it's just yeah. Um, Arlie, John Arlie Ratzenberger playing the, playing as, the uh, what? Did you say Arlie Ermy Ermy playing the Army? I don't remember. I didn't know who was playing him, but John yeah, Ratzenberger the, from playing Full Ham. Metal Jacket. The the guy oh. from Full Metal Jacket plays the <laughs> army guy. Yeah, uh-huh. it's just like it, it's great. It's an A plus movie. They're both yeah. A plus movies. It's so hard to kick one out of them. Well, do you want to find out? Do you want to know? Are, you, are we ready? Pause if you're not ready. <laughs> okay. All right. So in our final match, the champion. Of all Disney movies of all time up to this moment is, drum roll, <laughs> The Lion King. Wow! I, like, I'm surprised, but at the same time, I'm not surprised at all. What were the percentages? 
Seventy percent. Really? Actually, wow. it was a, it was a lot bigger of a gap than I thought it would be. I yeah, thought it would I would have guessed close, but I yeah. think when it came down to this, there was a lot more people that were like, "Yeah, you know, it's it's too good. They, it's too they good both, to vote anything They both else. deserve it, but like yeah. Lion King, I I agree. Obviously, I think Lion King is amazing. I think Toy Story. These are two A plus movies. They deserve the one in the two spots. I think that Lion King rightfully won, though. You voted yep. for Toy Story, though. What do you think? How do you react to that? I have no problem with Lion King win. Like I said, these both of these films were tied for me, and it came down to, for me, what do I enjoy watching more? I said Toy Story, but if you put Lion King in, I'm not going to tell you to turn it off. <laughs> like, it yeah, makes absolutely, complete I sense to me. Lion King is the king of the jungle. It is the king of the Disney bracket, of the yes. Disney universe. So, this is... Not That's, a hugely surprising result, but I had lots of different predictions for how this entire yeah, bracket would we go. We had surprises along the way that we had. Even was, if the final one isn't that big of a surprise, there's lots of fun twists and turns along the way. It was so much fun getting here. It was yeah, so this much was fun blast, having you guys, you guys participate. So Those of you that voted, thank you so much for voting. Those of you that didn't, you're dead to us. So make sure you <laughs> vote in the next one. <laughs> so... So yeah, I mean, I don't know if there's too much more to say about this. I, don't I, think, I think it's it's exciting that Lion King won. I think we've really covered a lot about yeah. these, these films. I think, you know, the only thing is we all know what movie we have to watch tonight. Yeah, <laughs> we got to watch Simba, basically. Yeah. So, uh, and, and it gets us hyped for, like you said, the live action one that's yes. coming down the road. So, and um, after all, you know, it means no worries. <laughs> I don't know if that was a good segue. I just feel like I, I felt like I needed to say it. <laughs> well, that's where we end with you guys on our Disney bracket. Like we said, it was a lot of fun doing this, and uh, we're looking forward to all of the results and all of the twists yeah. and turns of our up, of our comic book bracket that we're doing right now, and Absolutely. anything Blink else that we do in below. the future. So. Thank you for voting along. Make sure you vote in our other stuff. If we uh, right now we've got the the uh, comic book bracket going on, we might do more brackets in the future, especially if we get a lot of good feedback from you guys. So leave comments, vote in our other bracket. Uh, thank you so much for voting along and, and like and subscribe because we got a lot more content coming, uh, and that's going to be a lot of different kinds of stuff. Not all of our videos are going to be two hours long; just <laughs> half. Of them. Yeah. Any other anything else? That is it. That's All right. Like. We've decided The Lion King is the best Disney movie ever made. And that's a fact. <laughs>